In this video, I'm going to take you through creating your own custom knowledge AI chatbot in five to 10 minutes that's trained on your own data using a platform known as Coz. Now, complete transparency, this video is sponsored by Coz. However, it is a completely free platform that runs on top of GPT-4. Now, if you wanted to use GPT-4 through OpenAI's website, you'd have to pay like 20 bucks a month. But here on Coz, you get to use it for free on top of all of the additional chatbot integrations that this platform provides. Now, I've been using this platform for a couple weeks at this point, and I think it is super cool. And I know a lot of you guys are trying to learn AI. And one of the best ways to learn AI is to sort of get your hands dirty and start building stuff. Now with Coz, it's super easy to start building with AI, even if you have no coding experience. So I've had this idea for a while now about making a chatbot that uses my own content. You know, my YouTube video scripts, my ebook, my courses, so that users can interact with this chatbot to get advice based around the content that I've made and the things that I've said. And aside from my own knowledge chatbot, I know a lot of people or a lot of companies even could benefit by creating their own chatbot from their own data sources. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into creating this chatbot. So head on over to coz.com and once you create an account, Click the create bot button here in the top left of the screen, select your personal workspace, give the bot a name. So I'll name this uh, coding with Kenny. We'll give the bot a brief description. So I'll just say a knowledge bot trained on Kenny Gunderman's content. Then we can upload a profile picture or we can use this handy generate AI button right here to generate an icon for our bot. So this will take a second to load. Once that's done, we'll click confirm. And then from here, we'll be taken to our bot dashboard where we can now create our bot. So the very first thing that we should do is design the persona or I guess prompt engineer the bot so it behaves the way that we want it to. For example, I want this bot to give the user coding advice from the knowledge that I upload, which we'll do here in a second, and recommended content from my YouTube channel. So I could write something in the persona here, like you're a coding bot designed to recommend coding resources and YouTube videos from Kenny Gunderman's YouTube channel. You're able to help rec recommend resources based on an individual's skill level. So I would say this is a good start for our bot's persona, but then I could go ahead and use Coz's optimize feature right here. Click this button. This will take a minute or so to run. And as you see, Coz went ahead and took our initial prompt and made it into something that is much more optimized. It created a character for our bot, which is denoted by this character hashtag here. It equipped it with all of these different skill sets, such as diagnosing the user's coding skill level, recommending coding resources, and then recommending YouTube videos from my YouTube channel right here. So I'll hit use to go ahead and use this generated data. Now I already created a persona and prompt section for this bot that works very well for my use case right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it in like this. Now the next thing that we need to do is upload our knowledge. So right now this bot isn't trained on anything and it's strictly the GPT-4 model. So if I ask it some sort of question, it will give me a generic AI response. For example, if I asked it something like, what are some tips for self-taught programmers? It'll take a second. And then it's gonna go ahead and give me this pretty generic response of mastering the basics, practicing regularly, work on real world projects. So let's go ahead and upload my own data just to see how much this response 
changes. So I have over a hundred pages of PDF data from all the content that I've created over the years. For example, inside of learning material here, I have this 19 page ebook that I created titled zero to full-time programmer in five steps. Inside of YouTube video scripts here, I have 10 YouTube video scripts that I've downloaded and I've turned into PDF documents. So I'm going to go ahead and upload all of these documents directly into Coz and integrate them into my bot. So I can do that by going back to the Coz dashboard, clicking this plus button under the knowledge section. Now I've already uploaded these documents as you see right here while I was testing this bot, but let me go ahead and show you how you can add your own documents. So what you want to do is click this create knowledge button right here, create a name for your knowledge source. So I'll name this one YouTube vid scripts, add a description. If you want, click the confirm button. Now this is where you will upload your knowledge, AKA your documents. And you do that by clicking this add unit button right here. Now I'll personally be using PDF documents, but as you can see, you can use virtually any type of document you want. You can use text documents. You can use Microsoft word documents. You can even connect right to your Google doc drive. You can connect to notion or you could even scrape data from web pages. But because I'm using local PDF documents on my machine, I'll go ahead and click local documents, click next. And then all I need to do is drag and drop the documents that I have right here. So I'll go into YouTube video scripts. I'll select all of these and I will drag them straight into Coz like this. They should upload pretty quickly. From here, I'll click the next button. Now this is where you can let codes automatically parse through your documents, or you can set up custom rules for parsing yourself. Now I think Coz does a great job doing this automatically. So I'll go ahead and leave automatic selected. I'll click next. And then we simply just wait. It should only take a minute or so. And once that is done, we'll click the confirm button. And after that, simply go back to knowledge and upload all of the other data sources that you have. From here, we will simply go back to our bot dashboard. So this coding with Kenny bot right here, click the plus button under the knowledge section. We'll add our YouTube vid script knowledge data source that we just uploaded. We'll also add newsletters and then learning material here. We'll close out of that. And just like that, we've created a knowledge bot that is ran on top of GPT-4 with our own custom data. And just to show you that this is working, let's go ahead and ask the Coz bot the same question of what are some tips for self-taught programmers? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this with control C. I'll paste it in right here. We'll ask the bot again, what are some tips for self-taught programmers? And as you see, it is searching through our knowledge and providing us with a completely different answer than the first time. So let's look through this response here. Now, these things are things that I've said many times before in YouTube videos, which makes sense because I uploaded my YouTube video scripts directly to the knowledge section of this bot. And just to prove this to you, let me see if I can find the video where I said uh, self-learning isn't the easier route. All right, so I said it right here in this video, self-taught programmers listen up. And as you see in this chapter, I say self-taught isn't the easier option. We'll go ahead and play a few seconds of this clip. You need to understand that being self-taught isn't the easier route by any means. I think a lot of people- There you go. Directly from one of my YouTube video scripts. So that my friend is how you can very easily create a knowledge bot that is trained on your own data. Now with Coz, it doesn't stop there. As I mentioned, I wanna create a knowledge bot that not only gives advice based on the data that I've uploaded to the bot, but also recommends YouTube videos from my own channel. Now out of the box, GPT-4 can't recommend YouTube videos. However, this is where the plethora of other helpful features 
features of Coz comes into play. Now, Coz has a huge amount of plugins that I can add directly into my bot to get it to do additional tasks, such as searching for YouTube videos. So I'll head over to this plugins section in my bot dashboard here. I'll click the plus button to add a plugin. So I'll go to the search bar here and I'll search for the YouTube plugin. I'll select it right here, and then I'll add the search video plugin directly from the YouTube plugin. So now that this has been added, we can close out of this here. And now my bot can search for YouTube videos. It's as easy as that. So if I type in something to my bot like, can you provide me with a video on good coding habits that I can adopt as a programmer? I hit enter, it will use the YouTube plugin, and then it will recommend a video directly from my YouTube channel. So now that we have our knowledge-based chatbot created, we are ready to deploy that. And again, that is something that is super easy with Coz. We simply click the publish button in the top right of the screen here. Coz will ask for a few more pieces of data, such as a uh, bot opener and opening questions that a user may ask. You can fill this out if you want, or you can skip it. I'll just hit confirm to go with the default it gives me. And then from here, we can deploy our bot to various different locations. So the first one and the default one is directly to the Coz bot store. So Coz has a bot store where you can deploy your bot to, and you can use bots that were deployed by other people. But you can also integrate with platforms such as Slack, and Discord. So you could install this directly into your Discord server and the users of your server could ask the bot questions and it would answer it. So I think that is a really cool feature. However, I'm just gonna publish this directly to the Coz bot store for now, just because that is the easier route. And I do that by clicking this publish button right here. And there we have it, our bot is now deployed. So I'll click this button right here to open up the bot in the bot store. And that my friends is how you create a knowledge chatbot using Coz. I hope this video was helpful to you and make sure you head on over to Coz to start building your own chatbots today. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.